What's up everyone? Jay Ingersoll here, EDP Studios. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. It is 2022. It is 13 degrees here in Michigan. That's why I got my winter hat on. Very cold. Today we're going to talk about how to get your music uploaded to streaming platforms in 2022. The reason why I'm making this video is because I work with some artists that don't have their things up yet and they don't really know how to do it so it can definitely help them and I'm hoping that it can help some other people too and I can explain this in a way that could help you get your music into the ears of the listeners that you want to this year. If you get any value out of this video please comment below and let me know. Also like and subscribe I really appreciate it. Let's dive into this. Here's the screen. So the first question you're going to have is like, what, what does this cost? Uh, where do I go? This video you can see in the title, it is going to be, I'm going to be using DistroKid. That's what I use. There are other services out there like CD Baby, TuneCore, and probably dozens of other ones now that can help you achieve these same results. But DistroKid is what I use. That's what I like. And it's what I know. And we can walk through this. So we're going to jump into this over here. And the first question you guys are going to be asking is, you know, what's this gonna cost? What what are the pricing? So I'm gonna go over this pricing plan for the 97th time already because for some reason my OBS keeps crashing and not saving my video. So I've only made this video five times already. Over here, we have $19.99 a year. So you can upload unlimited songs, unlimited lyrics. You get your Spotify verified check mark. You can collect team earnings and one artist or band name. So this is the plan that I actually have, $35.99 a year. It has a lot of the same things, but this is the important things down here. A customizable release date, which is very important. That way you can have people pre-order or pre-save your songs. Um, you can do iTunes, customizable iTunes pricing or slash Amazon pricing. So that's kind of nice. And then you can collect team earnings and you can do two artists or bands. So you save 10% if you do this. Obviously, it's only 36 bucks compared to the $19.99 a year one. I would suggest this one if you want an actual schedule release date. It's not bad, $36 a year for you to have your music on all streaming platforms. Not a bad deal. And then this one is more for labels. So if you're a label or you want to do five plus artist bands names there's a lot of other things here it's pretty much all the same thing as this but you can just upload more songs or band names so all right so that's out of the way hopefully my obs don't crash as we start to get into this so we go on to distrokid.com here first thing you're going to want to do you're going to want to sign up here you're going to have to sign up you're going to put in your email address you password and confirm password obviously i'm already a signed up to distro kid but you probably have to put in your pricing information you can do a credit card or i think they even offer paypal they probably show you at the bottom um, you can scroll through all this if you want to dive in a little deeper it kind of gives you some um, social proof and some quotes on people how they like it and then here's a lot of different stuff your sports center frequently frequently asked questions and things like that so let's scroll back up here so you get you all signed up. This gives you just a little rundown of uh, what it actually does, things I've already um, talked about. And so say we sign up. It, uh, if you're a member, you go to sign in, you're going to have to get a verification code almost every single time once it's just a two-step verification to make sure that it's you. Usually they'll send it to an email. I think sometimes they can even send it to text message if you want. So. If you're already a member, you can go up here and sign in, obviously. So, so jump over here. This is kind of what your dashboard looks like. This is what mine looks like. These are all my splits. Um, and it shows the following songs that I'm involved with. That's not my personal releases. These are just other songs that I've done with artists. So, and this just shows you the split. Some of these are 35 because there's multiple um, artists on that. A lot of these 50s are just me and the artists. You can see a lot of Tony Capo tracks, a lot of different things that we've done. These are my releases. It shows up here all the platforms that it's streaming on. So that's kind of cool. These must. There's more on this one because this is a later release. So they must have added more platforms you can listen to music on from when I released this actual instrumental tape. So here's your dashboard and we're going to start working through what this looks like in order to upload your music. So um, I'll go through a little bit of these things as we go along in the video, but this is the most important one. We go to upload here. 
So this shows you the services. If there is services you don't want it on, you can click this box and it won't upload your song to that uh, service. Uh, Snapchat beta, I'm not real sure what that is, but like these are usually automatically checked up here, so it's nice. So it's already going to promote or it's already going to push your music to these streaming services. Number of songs, you can do singles. I know a lot of people do singles. Um, you can do uh, many songs, all the way up to 35 songs in one spot. And then for each one of the songs, it'll just add another track down here. And you'll have to fill this information out for each track. And I'll show you as we go along. So was your song previously released? Uh, no or yes. If it has been, I'm not really sure what it does, but it shows you the original release date. I just think they're trying to see if this has already been out, you know, um, or if it's a remix, those kind of things, and what that kind of looks like. But no, it hasn't been previously released. We're just doing a single right now. Artist or band name, you put your artist or band name on there. Usually when you set up your account, I believe that this will just autofill. So if it is, you know, whatever your, your band name is or your artist name, that'll show up there. Um, I'm already on Spotify and already on Apple Music. That's just because I've released things before. So if I'm releasing something new, it can automatically know that Exodor Productions is on Spotify. Exodor Productions is on Apple Music. So that definitely helps. This is where I was talking about the $35.99 compared to the $19.99. This is super important right here because you can actually pick a release date. Now this... Um, it even says right here, setting release date at least one week in the future increases your chances of getting added to playlists. And if it's important that your album goes live in all stores the same day. So sometimes there's a lag on Spotify or iTunes that even though if you're on the 1999 paid plan of DistroKid and you have to release it that day, and then you go tell people that your music's out now on Spotify and it may not be for another week. So you don't really want to get into that conundrum because you want to be professional about this. So that's why you want to be able to schedule release dates so you can get the pre-save links and you can um, use all that to your advantage and actually promote it with a decent amount of time to come out. And that's super important too. Pre-order, so if you want to let pre-order, um, I know most people probably will do this because it's kind of nice because you can pre-order on iTunes or Amazon and that's where you can do the pricing and they can pay for that. Record label, just Exodore Productions. If you have a record label, you can put that in there so it's associated with you. Um, album cover, this shows you 3,000 by 3,000. Uh, it's usually a one by one square. If you don't really know how you're going to make your own artwork, if you're kind of in, in that boat, like I would suggest Canva.com. It's a great free site. Make your images look professional. You can even type an album cover and it will automatically give you a, a, an album cover that's sized this way. It should already be in 3000 by 3000. But you can go into Photoshop or Canva and make that parameter and then you can make your own artwork. You do want to make... Uh, you don't want to increase smaller images to make them bigger because they'll be blurry, obviously, and uh, you might just have to mess with this. Uh, it does say that stores will reject the artwork if it contains any like text, like URLs or anything like that. So just try to keep it your album artwork um, and then keep it recognizable so people know exactly what it is. Language. Uh, I'm English, obviously. English language, I should say. I'm not English. Uh, primary genre. So you can pick your genre. Most of the stuff that I'm going to release on here is just going to be hip-hop and rap. Um, for metal or anything else or rock band or whatever like uh, you know that'll be up to your discretion then if you want to put a secondary genre you could do a folk uh, j-pop band if you want that's up to you so this is kind of where we get in the nitty-gritty of things we're gonna look at track one here's your track title right here what um, you do not want to include the artist here. It actually gives you a spot for it now. When I first started using DistroKid, you had to do that and it was very tricky to navigate because you couldn't put certain capital letters and certain things and reject it. But now it's nice because you can add a featured artist, which I had to do for the album that I actually uploaded late to the game on here. So can you add a featured artist to the song title? So if you do want to do that, so here's your song title, whatever it may be. Um, you know, it says opposite ACD, we're black and back, not back and black. Um, add featured artist song title, so you can do this, and then you can do your featured artist name, and you can add multiple, so you can put whatever in there. And the nice thing is, is if it's already 
if this artist already has a page, it will link this artist. Spotify name or uh, iTunes name or DistroKid name or excuse me, it'll link the, the artist already if they're on Spotify, so it's kind of nice. Add version, is it a radio edit, is it a different version, is it a special version, funkified version, summer version or whatever. So that's why it's asking you if this has been released before and then you can, if it has been, then you can do a different version or whatever. And then that's just kind of what it shows like black and back featuring blah 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 it's a special version so that's kind of what it's going to look like on the stores with exidor productions whatever but that's you know that's just for um that's just for purpose sake so choose this is where you upload your audio file uh it gives you options you can do mp3 flac file or aiff or windows media file mp3s i would I suggest doing a wave at all costs because that's going to be the hot, one of the highest qualities that you can actually put in there. So make sure it is a wave file. If you want to put an MP3, sometimes it can be squashed and just not sound as good. But if that's all you have, then that's all you have. Um, is this, is has this been uh, mixed in like uh, surround sound? Most likely, it's going to be no. Songwriter, yes, you are the songwriter, or did another artist write it? So is it a cover song? What I love about DistroKid is if it is a cover song, they can help make sure that the artist does get paid for their original work, and it helps you clear the song. I haven't done it myself, but there's other videos and tutorials out there, so if it is a cover that you're uploading, that's uh, an option you want to check just to make sure you're covering your own butt and you're not getting flagged with copyright. Um, songwriters real names you know this is like when you look at CD booklets or look at the credits on certain songs and you're like I don't know any of those people that are songwriters or producers or anything because usually they put their real names as the actual songwriter so you know who actually sang it it's different than the artist name and you can add multiple if you want here um, it automatically put mine in just because of the artist name up there and then is it explicit lyrics is this a radio edit so is it clean or is it a dirty version uh, instrumental is it just an inter instrumental and uh, contains no lyrics so you can choose that so people will know it's instrumental and sometimes I've seen artists put out projects that are just instrumental versions and then one of the projects has actual lyrics on it too so that's kind of cool and then uh, for here like when you go into Apple Music or iTunes, you can preview that. If you do not have an account, you can preview the certain artist's music in there. So with this, you can specify the part if you just want people to hear the hook. Or you can just let the streaming services decide what part they want to let people sample. And it's just mostly these ones right here, Apple's and iTunes. TikTok too, which is interesting, so they must have just added that. Here's what I was talking about, the iTunes and Amazon pricing earlier where you can pick. You want to charge $1.29, $0.99, cents, $0.69. Cents. This will obviously change if you're doing a full record, but this is per song on um, your iTunes pricing. So artist mapping, this actually is uh, ensure artists are linked correctly in streaming services. So I, they're not gonna find a Jason Ingersoll because that's not what I release music under. But it does show that if I have an existing Spotify or Apple page that can make sure that, so if you have a song and you have a featured artist on that song, you can actually link them. And when people search that artist, that song will also come up because it shows that it's a song that they're on. So that's a very important thing if you have somebody on your song, if you're doing collaborations or whatever, that you can make sure that they get linked and then the song that you guys did also shows up under their artist page, if that makes sense. So. And then here's some extras, the optional but awesome, which is very cool. It already shows this is my card that I have on file. YouTube content ID, you can go through that. Um, you can detect the ad revenue and matches. Store maximizer, this will actually add your song if DistroKid adds new streaming services down the road. This will automatically add it to that. So like I said, the, these are extras, but um, optional but Awesome. This is kind of cool. If you have an SMS list, like an actual or an email list type thing, so you can get your own phone number and you can have people like text this. The nice thing is with these SMS open rates, when you text somebody, they're more likely to open a text than an email. So that is kind of cool right there. Loudness normalization, you're looking at negative 14 dB integrated LUFs. 
you may not know what that means that's not really important but if your stuff should be mixed and mastered properly then you're looking at um, not needing this but if you just did it on your phone and you kind of don't know what you're doing and it's self-released then you could probably do that and it'll normalize the loudness it can be tricky because be careful because that might destroy the quality of your audio as well though because it might just pump it up and then your file will be completely compressed that's a whole different video um, Shazam iPhone Siri that helps you know uh, let Shazam know if you've already used that app it's like a, a music detection app so if your song's being played somewhere it'll hold it up and it can recognize that it's an extra little charge title master you're kind of going it's just going to say master on title I'm not exactly 100% sure what that is or why that is but um, it does give great audio file quality maybe that has something to do more with like vinyl and things like that so this leave it legacy thing is really cool so like say you pass away or you protect your music and leaves it a legacy for future generations so it keeps your music up there forever so if you don't pay your 35.99 next year and don't want to upgrade or pay the fee your music if you paid this 29 bucks right now it'll stay on there forever and it'll never be taken down and then people can collect real royalties from there and then your mandatory check boxes you know youtube music as a store so youtube music um if, i don't know if you've ever searched your favorite artist but sometimes if you look at the youtube music it'll come up under there and then you'll see some of their music and you can listen to their music right on there or you know it'll be almost like a separate page then you can check out their videos too a lot of people listen to music on youtube so that's a good option so it's just letting you know that you did select youtube music as a store if you don't want that you can change that back up here at the top if you like boom just like that all right a few more things here you recorded this music so you want to make sure you're collecting all the royalties and the music actually belongs to you super important obviously you're not using any other artist name and song titles like hey this song is me and drake just because you're trying to get views or hopefully get streams just by using it in another artist name that's sketchy anyway um, i don't really know what this is oh yeah okay so this is like just the way apple puts the music titled up there so you're just okay with um Na uh, non-standard text uh, the way Apple does it and then you've read the agree to the distro kid terms of service you hit done a lot of times if there's any problems it will flag you back up at the top here and you have to go back and fix something but it's pretty straightforward you just follow it step by step and boom you hit done and then it'll tell you when whatever release date you picked and the nice thing is it'll send you an email and tell you when that certain store has accepted that song so it's kind of nice so you can follow along and make sure that you're not telling people like i said that it's on spotify and it's not on there yet and boom you're done with that to finish this video off we're just going to go through a few things up here just so you can kind of understand this digital kids that's the main chunk of this video you know how to upload your music now and you can get it on all, all streaming platforms right here I'll just go through it. My music, that's your dashboard. It's kind of the same one I showed you off rip. Um, splits is nice. So if you have another artist on your song and they have DistroKid and you guys can split the uh, money 50-50. And I kind of showed you guys that in my dashboard. But this is how you do that. You can select a release, one of the releases that you have on here. And you can hit next. And then you'll get an invite code and that's what this is so you can send that person what it'll automatically email that person an invite code they go in there grab that code and they say hey i got an invite code they they type that invite code or just paste it in there and hit join splits and then that's how you can split your music 50 50 with another producer or another artist or something like that so that's kind of cool here's your stats um here's your spotify estimates it just kind of shows you your streams you know november was pretty high for me because that's when i released my tape um, that just goes beyond the promotion you know you get one couple streams a day it just shows you different streams last 365 278 streams last seven days i've had 23 people listen to my music i know it's not a lot but i don't really push this that hard as far as i have other ways and other things that i'm working on to get my music out there as far as being a producer so it's a little different for me um, so that's kind of cool though. you can check out your stats you can look albums a track you can go these three things here itunes spotify and apple music you know the big big players in, in the release game so that's kind of cool you can look at all your stats and then 
Um, upgrade is just your pricing. We've already went through that. The bank is nice. This shows you how much you made. So I've only made $37.72 off of music in the last year or two, whatever, as far as streaming. But that actually isn't too bad with the terrible streaming prices that you get paid per stream per song. And the nice thing, you can look at earnings by artist by song. So if you got splits and you can see who, what artists you're working with that are bringing in more streams or more <clears throat> money for you. And then you can kind of, you can draw, withdraw earnings. Now, when you go into this bank thing, before you even go in here, mine didn't show that, but you're going to have to fill out a, a form. You're going to have to fill out like a tax form. You're going to have to fill out some different things to actually show you what that looks like. And then how you get paid through PayPal or checking account or, or whatever that may be. And you can withdraw earnings or whatever, but I'm just going to let them stack up. I got some more things in store. And then uh, go into this goodies tab and play around. There's a lot of different cool little stuff that you need, that you can use in here. You can get heard now. Um, you can try to get a wheel of playlist. You can promote yourself. Uh, I, li I like this a lot. You can do hyper follow on this. You can set up a hyper follow page, which is a link. You can edit it. You can um, change these things. And you can share this link. And then when you share this link, then people can just click on that link and then they can go check you out in different streaming platforms, the one of their preference. And you can add a new page and you can do all sorts of things with this. So this goodies tab is really cool. I'm not going to go through all of this. There's a lot of different things in here. It's going to be up to you to kind of play with this. I do like this Dave kind of thing. Like it shows, uh, you can have them listen to it and uh, let's see, I, what? No, not that. Uh, we'll just go Jetpack. This is the one that was on my tape, Latin J. It's kind of cool. He listens to it for a second and he tells you, you know, your uh, energy, dance ability. It tells you that it's three minutes and 10 seconds, key of F major. So that's kind of cool. That's, that's cool information you need to know. Basically, the negative 14. Uh, LUFs that I was saying and then like 140 on the tempo so that's kind of cool and then you can kind of share what Dave said about you you know so that's kind of a, just a neat little thing that he'll analyze that you can protect your music um, your uh, you can do backups and then protect your music from unauthorized release so that's going to be up to you to kind of play with this stuff and and use use what you need like this promote yourself with the hyper follow you can create little mini videos and put your album art on here and download them and they play a little preview of the song so that's kind of just some extra little stuff that DistroKid offers and that'll be up to you to mess with it and you can go through these things I'm not going to go into this because this video could go on and on it's already been a little longer than I want plus I've already recorded this video like five times because of my OSB keeps crashing and things like that so that being said if you got anything on this video I really hope you did leave me a comment below tell me what you think and uh, please like and subscribe and that means a lot to me a lot more videos coming your way in 2022 to help out the artists so uh much love to you guys peace out